Hey guys, it's Sean of the Tax Goddess. Uh, just wanted to talk to you about accounting for the PPP and the EIDL loan. Guys, in both cases, you're going to have to prove at some point, we don't know when that point is. Well, the PPP, we know when that point is, right? It's 60 days after you got the money. You're going to have to prove what you spent the money on. And if you haven't seen our video on the PPP loan forgiveness application, uh, go check that out. We'll put the card up above. Um, but you are, at some point, going to have to prove what you spent the money on. So, you know, a lot of people, we've been getting this question about, you know, do I have to set up a separate bank account? Do I have to really track this money? You don't have to do anything, guys, right? You can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> but the warning here is, and the comment here is, is that if you cannot prove, prove where you spent the money, what you spent it on, when you spent it, the date you spent it, okay, your PPP may not be forgiven. Your EIDL loan may go into default, okay? There, there are some, there's some bad things if you spend the money on things that you're not supposed to spend the money on, all right? And we've covered what you should spend the money on in multiple videos. Um, I'll link the April 17th video up here uh, as well, so you guys can go back and watch that again. There's some confusion on fixed debts, for example, under the EIDL loan. Uh, they don't mean things like a mortgage on a building, right? In under fixed debts, they're talking about your utility payments, which are typically fixed. You have to pay them. Um, but, you know, watch that video. Ask us questions if you need more detail. Um, you know, really, guys, there, there's a lot of stuff going all over the place, uh, a lot of rumors and questions and should it be this way, should it be this way. In a lot of cases, especially, for example, with the EIDL, we do not yet have guidance. We are literally just now getting guidance. Today is May 22nd, just last Friday. Uh, we finally got the PPP forgiveness application. It had contradictions to things that were previously said, okay? So, you know, do your best. I think... I think this is not my CPA opinion. This is me as a reasonable business owner. Okay. I think that what's going to happen is that as long as you're spending the money in good faith of the purpose of the money. Okay. Which is to PPP is to keep jobs, keep people employed. And your EIDL is to make sure that your business can get back up and running. Okay. So not buying new equipment, not investing in a new location, not moving those kinds of things. Um, it was not for expansion, right? It was for keeping what you currently had up where it was and up and running. All right. So, um, spend your money in good faith guys. And if you have any questions and of course, as you know, Ask us, uh, YouTube channel, Facebook group, uh, YouTube, taxgoddess.com, or taxgoddess, website, taxgoddess.com, uh, Facebook group, tax strategies that save entrepreneurs thousands. Um, you know, we're coming out with the data. As soon as we find out about it, we let you guys know about it. So, uh, just don't do, do your best not to try to be sneaky with the money. Okay. It's not the purpose of the funds. And, and I do believe that you really should have two separate bank accounts, three, right? Your main operating checking account, which you've had forever, your PPP account, and your EIDL account. Now, is it required? No, but you better be, you know, able to prove, guys. You gotta have really, really, really clean records. So if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to put them down below. We'll get back to you as fast as we can. Uh, we are, of course, swamped with all of the new data coming in, but uh, we'd love to be able to help you. So, and you know, if your CPA is not keeping you up to date with this, you are always welcome to reach out to us. We'll also put our appointment booking link down below. So don't hesitate to reach out and we're looking forward to chatting with you and seeing if we can help. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. And as always, it was a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, my name is Shauna the Tax Goddess. And um, yeah, hope you guys have a great day. All right, thanks. Bye.